Christina Peterson up against Michael Fuchs and Birgit Michels of Germany. Guaranteed. New champions in the mixed doubles discipline because the defending champions from China, Chang Nam and Zhao Yunlei, have been beaten in the other semi final by the pair from Taipei, Cheng Hungling and Cheng Wenxing. And whilst the Danes here, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson have been in the final of the Japan Open previously, two years ago, where they lost out to Sungpong Anu Gretewan and Kunchela Vorovici Chaikul from Thailand. Neither of these European players have ever won this title before. Denmark's last chance to have players involved on finals day. But for the Germans, there they are. Michels, who used to be the get overseer before her recent marriage. And Michael Fuchs. Well, we know we've already got a German involved tomorrow, and that's Juliana Schenk in the women's singles. Can this German mix doubles pair and to Germany's success? ago we started semi-finals day here in the Metropolitan Gymnasium in Tokyo and still one semi-final yet to start Michael Fuchs and his partner the number seven seeds Fisher Nielsen, 32 years of age. And he and his partner, Christina Peterson, who's 25. She's from Oldborg, which of course is the same place that Peter Gator was born. So semi-finalists last year, beaten finalists the year before. Can they go better than that this year? Down to number, I should say, up to number four in the world ranking, up from five last week. Number four seeds, 24 and eight, their win-loss record for the year. And that includes winning the Swiss Grand Prix event. Two semi-finals as well. And with this, that makes three semi-finals. And you can see they had a marathon match in the second round against former champion Nova Widianto, playing with Vita Marissa. 22-20 in the deciding game. And I can tell you that they were 17-20 down. Five straight points, save three match points, obviously, to come through that. Two games yesterday in the quarterfinal against Sato and Matsuo from Japan. So for the Germans, Michael Fuchs, 29 years of age. 
He's a graduate in sports science, so he's now studying to become a physical education and English teacher. Seeded seven, as I was saying. They're down one place in the world rankings from 12 to 11. And this year, their win-loss record translates into three titles. In fact, the Morocco International Canadian Grand Prix and an event in the Ukraine as well. Well, their first round encounter, good win against the former world champions Thomas Leiborn and Camilla Ruta Yul in two straight games. And then yesterday in the quarter-final, dispatched Hong Wei and Pan Pan of China, who in the second round had beaten the number two seeds, Tantui Ahmad and Liliana Natsia from Indonesia. So the Germans, too, in very good form. Our court officials, both from Japan. This year, Michelle's from many badminton fans will remember her competing under her maiden name of Overzia. Germany have never had champions here at the Japan Open. Guaranteed a finalist tomorrow because Juliana Schenk already through to the women's singles final. Can they do it in the mixed doubles as well? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Marco Crooks. Bonjit Mises, Germany. And on my left, Joachim Fischer Nielsen, Christina Pedersen, Denmark. Marker Hooks to start to Joachim Fischer Nielsen. Level play. So the number seven seeds from Germany, Michael Fuchs and Birgit Michels, far side of the court, up against the number four seeds from Denmark, Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. These two pairs have actually met each other once previously. That was in the first round of the first Super Series event this year, the Malaysian Open. Danes won on that occasion. Two straight games, 21-12, 21-13. But since then, this German pair have enjoyed a lot of success, including a semi-final at the All England Championships. Long. Three, one. <clears throat> oh, 
Naya moving forward all the time. Kristen uh, Peterson. Dane's in their mixed doubles partnership since 2008. Came together because of a horrendous injury to Britta Anderson, who ruptured her anterior cruciate ligament in her knee during the Korean Open. Oh, that's nice. Germans only formed their partnership last year. It was their second year together. Oh. Yeah, good power. He's a big, strong man, is Michael Fuchs. 29 year old. Very talkative man as well. Likes to practice his English. And a, a very entertaining journey with him. Back from the French Open last year, we were off to the Garden Hall. Catch our respective trains. Me back to England, him back to Germany. yesterday and was talking about Joachim Fischer and his real intensity on court. Plays every single rally as if his life depends on it. So good to watch. Very expressive as well as a player, Joachim Fischer. You know when he's happy, you know when he's disappointed in himself. Super Series tournament final before, and that was that French Open last year. Lost out to Sukit Prakamol and Sarali Thongtongkam in the final. He won't be happy with that. Turn of serve, a little dink down towards the tram lines, getting it past Pedersen. Ah! And then throws the racket to the side. Yep, asking coach to go and take that down to the stringers. army of Unix stringers at the end of this stadium. Been working so hard throughout the championship, so many players needing rackets restrung. Oh dear. They're up on a low serve. Smash. 
German bench. Oh, it's just long. Nine, ten. Oh, and it was only just, my goodness. Come on. And then look from Peterson there up towards the giant screen. Yeah, it was a good call by the line judge. Level. Return of serve. It's the Danes who have the advantage at the big game interval. coaches were saying, but I take an educated guess, they're saying and both pairs have been urged to really take control of the front of the court. We haven't really seen the women's involvement to the usual extent that we do in mixed doubles. That's a great return of serve though. Two serves were flicks. dominance from the front of the court but both these pair the men very willing to come forward and play from the net area and that really does say something about their confidence in their partners to allow Michels or Peterson to play it from the back of the court and there's another flick serve against the Danes From the left hander. Yeah, she was way too committed to that forehand defence. And I said she was standing very wide in the court. Walk and Fisher still able to find the mark.
Good rally. Singles a few years ago. Petra Uvazia. Good desperation defence early on in that rally from York and Fisher. Look at that. I told you he played with intensity. Ooh. Well, only just in on the line. Well, I think we had one bad call at the beginning of today's play, and since then. Line judges have been spot on every time. Oh! Yeah, well now we're beginning to see the face off between the two women. Standing their ground at the net, vying for supremacy. Oh! 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 I think they're flicking a little too often now, the Germans. Danes are beginning to look for it. Lucky to get away with that, Michael Fuchs. Because smashing across court in doubles can be very dangerous. She's a little bit nervous. Christina Peterson. Adrift right at the start of this opening game, the Germans. But now they have four game points.
Liverpool. It's landed in. Right into the corner. <laughs> and a smile from Fuchs. Yeah, I think just hoping that was going out. <laughs> two game points have been saved. Another two remain in favour of the Germans. This time they convert. And the number seven seeds from Germany, Fuchs and Michels, have taken the opening game. 21-18 confirms the umpire. Third time of asking. And third time lucky. Real pressure from the Germans. Michael Fuchs at the front of the court. Einmal nach vorne sofort auch wenn es so kurz say is coach Klaus Bolson. With Peter Gator in the men's singles, I'm not convinced that the players are in total agreement with him. Body language, look of frustration. Taken the first game, 21 18. Oh. And they keep their good form going. Love. Fuchs and Love. Michels. Smash from Fuchs. Over. One, two. Oh, service oh, fault called. Oh, Racket not Side facing in a downward direction. for the Germans. This is the first time they've played the Japan Open as a pair. Just enough pace to get it past Fuchs. Well, remember the names were 5-1 up in the opening game. Couldn't convert. Four one up here in the second. Another flick serve. Oh! Mm. That's with the opening game. Five one advantage. One. 
this another flick sir? What come, come, is come. going on? Oh! Oh, who am I to criticise you winning your points? Wow. It's working for you. Stick with it. set up with a very, very good return of serve, and I suspect that that may have cracked the racket of York and Fisher. In fact, I think the frame was actually broken. The effort to try and retrieve the shuttle, which he did, smacked the shuttle, the racket on the floor. I think you can just see that the... And another racket. Another one to his liking. an opportunity Seven, for Michael Seven. Fuchs. The match really has changed. The umpire wanting to have a word with Michael Fuchs, okay. saying, "Don't walk around in circles. Get yourself ready." Good serve. That is fabulous. What a defensive shot. Driven across court. Right into the corner. Seven point advantage now. And another flick serve. I obviously feel that Michels needs to be pushed to the back. Not as strong from the back of the court. Mm, tactics working. Mm, call from Fisher Nielsen to his partner, and it was the correct device because they have a nine-point advantage now here in the second game. Of course, the Germans took the first. need to rethink the game plan right now. Being dictated to from the start of the rally. That's 
Slide. All one suspects with this 10 point advantage that he will go the full distance, go to a decider. Well, that's a beautiful return of serve from Michael Fuchs. Well, I think the body language now of the Germans, if you're a German supporter, is rather concerning. A little shrug of the shoulders after that rally from Michael Fuchs. As if to say, well, what do I do? know what a golden opportunity it is here at the Yonex Japan Open. World champions in the mixed doubles beaten in the other semi-final. Oh. That's a very, very Five, good serve. take into account the drift. Well, she just didn't get back, did she? Didn't explode Five. back with the power from the legs. Get behind the shuttle. Well, she made the error. about this second game one feels. Oh, string's gone again in the racket. Just slightly mistimed. Players have their racket strung so tightly nowadays that any slight mishit, the strings will break. Just saying he wants to test the new racket. Seventeen, six, play. Yeah, it's landed on the line. And a little look at the shuttle, look down towards the line. 
made the wrong decision in the end. So just three points away from a third and deciding game. Brilliant. Super shot. Driven across court into the open space. Perhaps the wrong choice of shot from Fuchs smashing on the left hander's forehand side. Well, it's all been one way traffic, hasn't it, in this second game? And now 14 game points to level this semi final at one game all. This time, it is indeed one game all in the mixed doubles semi-final. 34 minutes of play. It's one game apiece. This is the final rally. Well, Klaus Olsen seemed a lot more upbeat as he was talking to his players there. Well, so he should be. Totally dominated that second game, 21-7. Of course, the Danes, Fisher Nielsen and Peterson, looking to reach their second final at the Japan Open, having reached the final two years ago. Germans can recapture the sort of form that they showed in the opening game. Final game, level play. Yes. Rally. Superb. Wonderful badminton. Great intensity.
the back of the court, then he wow. reached the drop shot, and then he was in for the kill. No wonder he's pleased with that. Really enjoys his badminton, does Michael Fuchs. I'm just saying, come on. Too much time being taken in between rallies. Oh, well, that absolutely determined to push Michelle's to the back of the court. Flip serving to her so often. That's a great set. Oh, it's just short. Four, three. Come on! Oh! Well, you won't see better than that. Absolutely oh. tremendous shot from Michael Fuchs. Oh, oh that's well wide. Goodness gracious. There's another flick. Mm, wow. Yeah, it was a double hit, I think, from the Danish pair. So despite the fact that Michel's the final one into the net. A fault had already been called against the Danes. Good umpiring. I thought it was a double hit. Oh, oh that's good placement. Just out of the reach of Michelle's coming across. Perhaps if she'd taken half a step further forward, she might have been able to reach it. Cutting down the angle.
why she isn't looking for that. They're flip serving her every time. And now, Michael Fuchs making the point to both the service judge and the umpire that he thinks that she's coming higher and higher on her serve. straight points and a four point advantage Here's the flick again oh, that's amazing backhand good rally very good rally Almost does the splits here, I think. Oof, my goodness. Shots. On a run of six straight points from five all, they've just pulled away and have the advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. And I think that the Danes had to save three match points in their second round encounter. Now looking good for perhaps another appearance in the Japan Open final. But as far as uh, Michels is concerned, he's going to turn 27 next Wednesday, 28th of September. There she is. If I was her, I'd stand a little further back to receive the serve because every time the Danes are flicking her and if she was standing a little further back, they may think twice about it. Towards the right hip of Christina Peterson. Six, eleven. Perfect serve. Good flake. Seven, eleven. Delightful. Oh, oh, what? How good was that? Serve return and third shot. We say it time and time again. So important in doubles. And Michel's onto that like a flash.
Well, he touched it. I think it was going out. So that has to go down as a good return of serve. just uh, apologizes. I don't think I need to give a translation of exactly what he said. Play. Other than to say he wasn't too happy that his partner got faulted on her serve. times he's noticed that Peterson is waiting committed to her backhand defense and waiting on the cross court smash and therefore aiming down her forehand side about leaving that one second one his judgment was sound I suspect he could have left the first one as well Michael Fuchs patiently keeping the shuttle going down until he got his partner involved. So having been six points adrift at the change of ends, now the deficit just to the chance at the nets Christina Peterson and it paid dividends <laughs> clever. very very clever change of pace for Michelle's Well, 
I thought as they changed ends, it was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Just goes to show how much a match can turn around. Now giving away the opportunity to hit in a downward direction from the onset of the rally by using the flick serve. probably thought the same as me from the reaction of Michael Fuchs didn't say a word but he just gave the service judge a long hard look good return to serve low. Yep, great serve it was too. Oh my word! What a rally! Super point. No. Serve is absolutely vital. It. He knew how important it was. It seemed to just rush the serve in the end, having taken an age after the end of the last rally. And now a three-point advantage for the Danes and three points away from a place in the final. <laughs> Great defence. Oh, this is just getting better and better. Michelle's she held her nerve. A good low serve and stood her ground at the net. And now there's just one point in it. Oh, reverts to the flick to no avail. The shuttle back onto the left hander's forehand side. And now the number four seeds from Denmark 
on the verge of victory. Three match points to Fisher Nielsen and Peterson. Talk about the serve. Where's she going to serve to? Yeah, it was long the back line. Point has been saved by the Germans. Well, the clock ticks over the hour mark. One more match point to come in favour of the Danes. Nielsen and Christina Peterson are concerned. What a marathon match. Dropped the first 18-21, came back 21-7, 21-19 in the deciding game in a thrilling encounter. And the Danes once again are in the final of the Onyx Japan Open. If racket will probably go to the crowd. Yeah, indeed it does. A lucky foul. <laughs> well, what a great semi final to finish off a great semi finals day. goes to a lucky fan <laughs> well Danes will be represented in the finals tomorrow the moment of victory for the number four seeds their confirmation of the score 18 21 21 7 21 19 in the deciding game in 61 minutes of play <laughs> 